What's happening guys? Greg Happ here from Menagerie Studio. Today we're going to take you through a super quick, super simple way to get set up in Frame.io. So let's say you just received a review link from your editor. Upon clicking that, you'll be taken to this page here. Um, as you can see, we have a big play window here in the middle. This is where you'll preview your video. Down below that video is where you'll leave any comments, any revisions, and those comments will show up over here to the right. So let's just go ahead and start previewing our video. I'll go ahead and mute it. Okay, so let's say right away we just want to make a quick change. Um, we can pause the video or you don't even need to pause the video. If you just notice something and you want to start typing, it'll pause it for you. Let's just say we want to change the font to all white. So we'll just go ahead and type uh, change font to all white come over here and click send. You'll just be prompted to enter in an email real quick. So we'll just uh, do that and you should only have to do that once. So we'll click continue. And as you can see, our comment appeared over here in the comment section. And you'll also see that the comment has been timestamped at the point in the video where you made the revision. All right, so we'll just go ahead and continue previewing our video. Uh, watching along, looks good. Okay, say we wanna get rid of uh, the text here. We don't, we don't like it, we just want it clean and plain. So we'll come back down here. And as you can see, we have this paintbrush tool down here. Upon clicking that, you can then draw directly on the frame. So there we go, we can highlight that. You have different color options, so let's say you wanna highlight a few different things, you know, in the shot. You have an undo button down here, a redo button. All right, but let's just say we want to remove this text. So type out, removed text and we'll click send. As you can see, it showed up over here in our comment area with a little paintbrush icon, and your editor will be made aware of exactly what you want removed from the scene. So let's come to the end of our video here, and um, let's say we want to just remove this end section. We don't really want the end slate, um, so you know we can come down here, type out, remove end slate, and now you'll see on any comment you make, you'll have these little brackets on either side. So let's say you want to select a section. Uh, if you just click and drag a, the bracket, you can now see we're selecting this range. So we go ahead and click send. You see now we have from 24 to 25 seconds is exactly what we want to have removed. All right, let's say you've gone through the video, you've made your edits, and now you're ready to let your editor know. If we just come up to the top here, you'll see this no status drop down menu. You'll have a few options here. Clicking needs review will let your editor know that, hey, I've made the changes. You can go back through, take a look at those edits and see what we can come up with from there. In progress, we'll let your editor know, hey, I'm, I'm in the process of reviewing the video, making the edits, just hold off. I will let you know when I'm done. And then let's say uh, you, you either have no edits, everything looks perfect, or, uh, or you received a second version of the video and we're good to go. We just click approved and upon final approval, approval of the video, you know, you're all good to go, you're happy with what you've received, you can then download the video. However, if you are looking to download the video and this button is not available, just contact your editor and have them send you a download link. I hope that was helpful. As you can see, it's pretty simple to get up and running and, and get your feedback to your editor so you can ultimately get the final product that you want. So thank you for stopping by. This has been Greg Happ from Menagerie Studio. We'll catch you in the next one.